Hello and welcome everyone to Let's Play Tomb Raider 5 Chronicles. The Alcatraz 115 speaking. Water music and looming threat of an automated turret above us. You know, this really describes this level nicely. So let me welcome you to the escape with the Iris. In this second level of the New York Chronicle, we are going to find 20 items. That is, if you are playing the PC version, there are two key items, two bottles of chloroform missing from the PS1 version. I'll explain which ones those are and... I think I also understand why they're missing, because using them to take out guards just doesn't work in the PS1 version. Furthermore, we are only gonna kill 3 out of 15 enemies, the reason is simple, automated turrets plus the fact that we will surrender our HK gun at the very beginning and we will recover it at the very end and use it just to shoot a couple of destructible objects. That's it. We are not gonna shoot anyone in this level. There is one particular enemy which you can take out that way and in case we'll be unsuccessful in taking him out with uh, chloroform, then that's what I'm gonna resort to, but otherwise not really. And furthermore, we are gonna find three secrets, bringing us ever closer to that unlockable gallery and closer to 36. Mind you, just like before, if you fire HK gun in this level, it's not gonna count to the total ammo used, right? So at the very end, I'm gonna show you what our total ammo used actually is and how much we have fired per this level, but it's probably gonna be a one digit number in this case. So, um, yeah, at the very beginning, Zip will contact us saying we need to surrender our gun. Now, I'm gonna give you another opportunity when we reload to listen to this conversation. So right now, I'm just gonna show you what happens if we don't follow him. First of all, let's trigger okay, the security systems. There is a turret. No Around the corner there is a turret. And I love the fact that the exchange between Zip and Lara continues, even though right now it's too late. <laughs> Oh my god, let's keep popping to the help packs. I'm gonna show you what happens when we reach the lasers. Ah. Well, Lara did make the somersault. <laughs> so this is what happens if you try and continue with the guns. Yep, not really helpful, is it? And I love the fact that the turret gunfire still continues as we are in the game over screen. So, let me reload. <laughs> now, I'm also gonna use this opportunity to show you something crazy. Uh, that is, if the camera would collaborate. Okay, apparently it doesn't. First of all, see, the headset is called binoculars. In the PS1 version, it is called correctly headset in the 13th floor level. And again, if we're trying to do a crawl somersault, Lara will just slide like this. Now, the moment we step into the escape with the iris level, the headset is actually called headset and not binoculars, and we get the proper somersault animation. I don't understand. It's the 13th floor level that's buggy, not the entire PC version. It just blew my mind when I found out. But let's listen to their conversation now. Okay, you've been a bad girl. And before I tell you what your punishment is, I just want to say that there's no point in arguing, because I ain't gonna be listening. Now take all your metal items. Yes, metal, and put them in the tray. Now. So you're telling me to disarm myself in a building crawling with armed guards? Now, if I was listening, which I ain't, like I told you before, I would counteract this argument by alerting the person asking me this to the fact her guns ain't any use against ten-foot-tall walking tanks anyway. But I ain't listening, so I ain't saying nothing. I'm doing it, but if you mess this up... All right, I'm listening again. And trust me, I ain't gonna mess this up, okay? Do I have a choice? And Zip would say no, that is in the PS1 version, but in PC all these dialogues and conversations are cut off around one second prematurely, which is incredibly annoying. There is also an entire important hint from Zip missing in the PC version of the game that's present in the PS1 version of the game. I'm gonna highlight which one that is and I'm gonna do my best to sort of put it in manually via video editing. So first of all, to prevent uh, what you've just seen from happening, three automated turrets and the lasers at the very end of the corridor essentially locking us in, we need to surrender our gun. Well, Zip said any metal items, but for some reason Lara just surrenders her gun and she's clear to go over there. Now, if you are thinking of bypassing the entire place via this trapdoor, I have to disappoint you, this is a way back from the very end of the level. Actually, this is security checkpoint is where the level begins and where it will loop in on itself and end. First of all, something kind of unique when it comes to weapons that I want to show you here. We have 173 bullets. Let's surrender our gun. Okay. 
we are at 173. And in case you were thinking about, hold on a sec, up to this point in the franchise, whenever we picked up a gun, it came preloaded with one clip worth of ammunition. Uh, except for the grenade gun, which had 10 normal grenades each time you picked it up. That's not the case here. They actually put a safeguard against you exploiting this. So the moment you pick it up, back again, you can actually reconsider. Uh, we're again at 173. And this time, you just need to approach this tile again for Lara to surrender it again. So for sorry for having you watch this cutscene all over again. I just really wanted to show you that this is not an exploit you can use in any capacity. That's a darn shame. We will need that ammunition. Although it's not like we're gonna spend it in this level, am I right? Well, three bullets, maybe? That's the extent which I'm expecting. So, the moment we pass through this corridor, something amazing is gonna happen. We are now scanned by security. There is actually a guard inside the room from which we are looking. But for some reason, he doesn't mind the fact that there's an intruder Lara in here. All he cares about is the luggage. The moment you press the action key to interact with this one, a bomb will explode inside the luggage. Lara will survive the initial blast, but she will be set on fire and there isn't a single patch of water in this level to douse her in, right? So instead, how about we open the luggage with a small health bag instead? Yay! Oh, I love the animation. And yes, the bomb is actually a breakable object. If you do interact with it, it will explode in the same kind of particle effect as all broke breakable objects tend to do. And later on we'll find a luggage room with more of these bombs and they have roughly the same amount of spread as the mines in the minefield in the trenches level in Tomb Raider 4. So there are going to be seven bombs like this in the level which we can all avoid, well we need to, to continue, and there are breakable objects which we are simply unable to break, which makes me sad. Okay, onto this room we have a uh, water machine here, that's really cool. I love the sofas, the executive look to this place. It's actually a really gorgeous looking level. I don't like to be the bearer of bad tidings, but the stairs are out unless you bulletproof. You ain't bulletproof, are you? What about the lifts? Well, the lifts is going down, and normally, when trying to escape somewhere, ain't it clever to head in the direction of the exit? Like the roof? Right. That'd be clever, like making me ditch my guns. Ouch. Yeah, maybe you better start looking for some weapons. Hey, don't sweat, girl. The man will save you. Hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet, before Lara was cut off. So, uh, yeah, over here you cannot see them normally without the headset. You can barely hear them. J just as you pick up the clips, there is another laser trap around here. Now, interesting thing, we are going to find ourselves on the other side of this corridor. We are going to exit from this elevator and re-enter that one. And this is just a lovely reminder, we are still basically on the 13th floor. So the um, us picking up the iris on the 13th floor and making it here, we did not move floors. And yet somehow we are going to fall down with an elevator and end up on floor 88. Doesn't make much sense, but at least we'll see how the level is constructed. By the time we reach the other side, there's going to be a guard here and we'll be able to take him out with a chloroform, that is, unless it will be bucked again. Very unpredictable, this level. Instead, let's go to the other side. And behind this door is the exit to the final level. <laughs> but to open it up, we need to fire at the fire extinguisher, so we need to actually pick up our gun and disable the security at the security checkpoint. And in order to do that, we are going to go through one of the most dangerous adventures Lara's ever been to. There is another breakable fire extinguisher here, which I'm going to totally break, even though it's not going to clear up a path. And there is a computer console, which is going to preview, give you a preview of the beginning of the next level. Watch this. There is a guy on a staircase in a power armor waiting for Lara. He's not actually there in this level. This is a guy we are going to defeat at the very beginning of the next level. They just gave us a little preview. So I'm not counting him as an unkillable level, uh, enemy in this level. I'm going to count him as a very much killable enemy in the next level. So on we go. And on to the right over here, we have entrance into the toilets. Now, here's the thing. You can press con the action key, and I really like this. A little console will open up where you can enter the combination. Well, my widescreen patch messed up the command of enter combination a little, but it doesn't matter, still looks great. Now, you can do a couple of things. If you're a speedrunner or just in a rush to continue the level, you can immediately enter 8526 and the path will be clear to continue the level. But the way you're supposed to figure out this combination is to find a key item on in the other general direction. So, the way this works, you can add really anything. Confirm with a star. If it's wrong, this is the sound it's gonna make. Or if you just make a mistake and you're aware of it, you can press the grid 
and delete and start all over again, right? So that's basically it. There is no punishment for doing it, I don't know, locking yourself out by doing it multiple times. Actually, let me see. Let's do it wrong multiple times. Each digit you can only enter once, that's interesting. See, always interactable, no cause for alarm or anything like that. So, we are gonna explore a couple of executive offices. Ah, these are gorgeous, New York skyline. That means we are not in Manhattan because we are looking at Manhattan from across... I'm not sure if this is the Hudson River, so we would be, what, in New Jersey? Or in Brooklyn? Anyway, uh, beautiful New York skyline. Uh, over here we can see what the executives drink in their free time. And yeah, it seems to be chloroform. <laughs> now all we need is cloth. And my god, is it gonna come in handy in this level. And also just observe the fact that there is a golden skull from Cambodia. You know, it's not unrealistic to think that Von Croy also found some on his excursion with young Lara there and kept them. And maybe he handed them out as gifts to some of his executives. I truly have no idea. Yeah, and this uh, chest of drawers should be completely empty. I think there are going to be five or six offices like this we will search for. Not particularly exciting. There is at least going to be this guy making it a bit more exciting. Thankfully this flyby warns us just in time. Okay, so first of all this door isn't really a door. It's never supposed to open. The one on the other side however is. I think this is where we will find cloth, right? Perfect. So this cloth and this bottle of chloroform is here also in the PS1 version of the game. And that's simply because there is no other way to take the gar out. Now, uh, these lights on the side are a good marker from which to start sneaking up on him via the walk button, okay? So, just so you're not too eager to run. Now if you press the action key, nothing will happen. Lara cannot just apply the bottle, nor the cloth. By the way, very interesting thing, I'm gonna show you that on the screen right now. If you press the combine on PS1 version, and if you were, let's say, to have your gun, you would find the HK gun was at some point a combinable item, and it still is in PS1 version. It's not the case in the PC version. So again, that brings me to think that Silencer was an attachment that could be combined with the HK gun, but they just decided to either scrap the idea or not implement it. Okay, let's soak the cloth and take him out. I am counting this as a kill. The exact same animation as the power armored guy and say farewell to the pistol, which Lara will of course not pick up, because that just would be too smart. Instead, let's explore the other offices with wooden doors. I think this office should be completely empty. Oh, and I think I passed by one. Let me just retrace a couple of steps back, because there is a small health pack we need to pick up, and in this level... Oh dear gosh, to get all the items we'll be in situations where we'll just need to pop health packs like crazy. Right, so this is the office I passed by, my apologies for that. Good thing I remembered. But again, try to take out the guard before you enter this office, right? He can hear Lara when moving around here. And it's not as much about hearing her move in the office as it is running on this tile over here. This is too late and he will be alerted. Okay. Now that's the fourth empty office. Let's enter the fifth office. I think this one should have another bottle of chloroform. Again, in a liquor cabinet. This just... I don't know what the devs were thinking. Probably just to make us giggle. Not sure. Or it could be that these are Activision Blizzard offices. You know, I wouldn't be at all surprised if the employees would be keeping pieces of cloth and chloroform in their cabinets. So, uh, let's go over here. And now we are actually gonna get our hands on the keycard. By the way, cool detail. When you step out, the light goes off. When you step in, the light goes on. Just, I thought it's a lovely detail. In here we are gonna get our hands on a keycard. Now it's not really a usable key item. It just says 8526, that's it. And again, just like with the security card in the 13th floor level, the picture on it you cannot see in the PC version. It's incredibly dark and this irritates me to no end. Because again, you could see a cute mugshot in there. And you can do that in the PS1 version, but in PC just for some reason. It's darkened. I have no idea why. It's more almost like a censorship. Like the enemy whose face was displayed there said, oh, I never, never agreed to let them use my face for the video game. Remove it. <laughs> okay. So again, uh, 8, 5, 2, 6, and that's what you need to enter and a star. 8, 5, 2, 6, and a star. Now that's the sound we want to hear. 
we are in the toilets. This is where we want to be. First, enter the ladies' restroom. I'd like to think that Lara actually does her business here because, you know, it's it's been a long night. You can essentially enter each of these cubicles, but with the exception of the middle one, they're empty. There's nothing really to see here. Imagine using the crapper and just, you know, the local celebrity Lara Croft walking in. That'd be a bit awkward. Okay. And there we go, large health pack, and now we actually need to enter to the men's toilets, and it seems the men's toilets, which I guess is fairly realistic, are in a state of disrepair. <laughs> okay, so here they are, flashing lights, again, two empty cubicles, it's the very first one we're interested in, and that's the one in the biggest state of disrepair, because we can break the ceiling tile, let me show you. You can actually jump to already see that something's wrong with it. Wait, can we break it now? Oh, yes, even before kicking the stall door. Oh, that's funny. But you can also just, after kicking it down, you can just jump, hold, action, and Lara will grab it. You can also do it from this angle, but it just requires more precision alignment. And now, using the toilets, we are entering an elevator shaft. Oh, boy. But first, we need to make a safety drop and re-grab this ledge. It's too tight to crawl, it's just to minimize the damage we will take from this fall. At least they're being thoughtful. Now that one is a dead end, let's go under the flashing red light, and you know what, let's not do somersault out of here, because we'll need to be grabbing a ladder. Yep, this my friends is ladder texture and our way to the first secret of the level. Now there are two ways to do it, one is faster, one is slower. You can just keep holding down and Lara will eventually reach the first secret, but I like to make it a bit stylish and grab the chain via a meter roll and go all the way down. Again, this is a bit faster than on the ladder. And now, uh, I think if we were to make a standing grabbing jump from the edge, Lara would just grab the ladder. We don't want that. Instead, make it from here and Lara will get into the secret like this. Yay! Okay, so that's our first golden rose of the level. Um, and you can, of course, just go down the ladder all the way down until Lara will just hang by her hands. And then, for some reason, I don't understand why it works like that, you can just let go of the action key and Lara will enter into the tile. She will not start sliding down. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but there you have it. Now, down there, we can see the bottom of the elevator shaft and we're gonna reach it, but we need to go up in order to go down, okay? Now this is unfortunately a long climb up. There thankfully is going to be a handy camera reference point of when to make a backflip, right? But you can of course turn Lara around on the chain and just sort of take a look at what it is that she sees. But first we need to go up, couple of floors up from the 13th floor. Okay, and soon, very soon, we can see the elevator shafts. It's the metal tile behind us, and now just make a backflip. Okay, no need to do a mid roll, I just love doing it excessively so. And we'll be swinging on that pole. Hooray, another opportunity to do that. Okay, and this here is a tricky jump, but at least we can use our camera to help us. It's possible to just jump on the roof, but it's much safer to try and grab it as well. Okay. Oof, that made me nervous. Now, there are HK gun clips here. Do you see them? No? That's fine, I, I don't see them either. I don't even see them now, and I'm picking them up. <laughs> so there they are. And what you need to do is open a trapdoor over here to enter an elevator. Actually, um, we are still gonna find ourselves at the 13th floor. Wow, look at the elevator shaft going up. It seems to be narrower and narrower. Ooh, that gives me a vertigo effect. Anyway. Into the elevator we go. And now all we need to do is press a button, not to move the elevator, it actually seems to be in a state of disrepair, but just to open the door over here. Okay, thank you, takes a while. Now do not run out of the elevator, walk out of the elevator. There is a guard over here. He maybe knows it, maybe doesn't know it, but he's actually staring into lasers, yep. Instead, we want to take him down with the other bottle of chloroform we found in the offices. Now, here's the thing. You will find that bottle of chloroform inside the offices in PS1 version. But using it to take down this guard just doesn't work for me on PS1 version. And I've seen some uh, walkthroughs saying it doesn't work on PC. Well, let's see.
Oh, that worked just fine. Again, I've seen Walkrow saying it doesn't work on PC version, I don't know why. If you do manage it, you get a large health pack as well, as a little bonus. Um, yeah, so... Actually, technically, that means that there are 17 items to be gotten in PS1 version, because you are not even gonna get your hands on this health pack, and you are also gonna get a lower amount of kills. I don't know, I'll need to make a full version comparison when I'll be doing my final stats video, but in PC you can do this. But I've seen PC users saying it's not possible, so maybe this is the result of the Tomb 5 patch, I truly do not know. There is gonna be a third guard, where I can sometimes take out with a Coloroform and sometimes I cannot, and it's completely inconsistent. This level is just buggy. Anyway, we are on the 13th floor, and actually on the other side is where we entered. Uh, let me show you. On the left is the security checkpoint, those are the fire extinguishers I've shown you. That's the security monitor showing us power armored guy from the beginning of the next level, and this is where we picked up those HK clips. But uh, yeah, and we've been standing on the other side of this laser trap. See, so it looped it on itself nicely, and thankfully the guard wasn't here at the time. Now we need to enter this elevator. <sighs> oh boy, I know what's up ahead. The moment we press this button, we're gonna be inside a trap. And Zip is supposed to tell us what to do, but in the PC version, this line of dialogue did not make it through. So I'm gonna try and edit it in from the PS1 version. But I'm not gonna follow Zip's advice. Instead, I'm gonna try and get our hands on two large health packs. If you forgive me, I am going to save here. And may fortune favor the foolish. Or the game can crash as well. <laughs> Close the door! Close the door quickly! Close the door quickly! Okay, Lara, please don't let me down. Don't let me down. Ugh. Okay, and now... Press the emergency brakes. Lara! You there? Lara! Lara! You broke? You ain't dead, is you? Come on, girl, answer me! Oh, I'm gonna be sore in the morning. I knew you was too tough for a little fall like that. Uh, I'm on the ground floor, aren't I? Bing! Ground floor! Depart here for gun-toting refrigerator men and long walk back upstairs. Yeah, sorry girl, you got it. But hell, you in one piece, ain't you? <coughs> Never felt better. Poor Lara, when she talks like that I actually feel sorry for her. Well. We did it! We managed to get our hands on two large med packs, using one in the process, so that was officially the first health pack we have used. <laughs> uh, was it worth it? Well, given that we'll need to use another large health pack very soon, absolutely not. So those were two guards, one power armored enemy and two large health packs to use. Now, I'm sure if you get lucky enough or good enough, you can avoid using a health pack to get those two, but my goodness. Now, what would happen if we were not to repress the button and uh, enable the emergency brakes is uh, we would find ourselves here, but Lara would be dead and on fire. We don't want that. Uh, the irony is that according to Zip and Lara we find ourselves on the ground floor but we are gonna find ourselves on the other side of this broken door and it's gonna say floor 88 which makes no goddamn sense right now unfortunately this is not the last time we'll have to avoid a power armored uh, laser rifle wielding guy to get our hands on an arbitrary large health pack by the way you can explore the very ground floor and the rubble but there is absolutely nothing there instead I don't know how you're doing it, Lara, after an elevator crash, but let's swing on a pole, climb up, and continue. Yeah, so, uh, 
This is basically the nature of this level. A lot of unavoidable damage, a lot of shots being fired at Lara and she being completely harmless, which... You know what, I think is actually a cool concept. As far as being without pistols or any kinds of weapons scenario goes, this is the pinnacle of that kind of design. Now, the texture on the left is sort of a marking that you can already backflip and land on ledge. I know, not they could have gave us a better hint. But the cool thing is, is that now we are also going to use a swinging pole, but the same swinging pole is actually going to serve as a tightrope walking mechanism later on, okay? And here we don't have many choices, we just need to enter a crawl space and face one of the toughest traps of this level. My goodness. Okay, Miss Croft, do not let me down. Please, Lara. Please, please, please. Pretty please. Okay. And now, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. We need to wait for the fire to die down. Okay. And run, 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 but then please walk. Okay, the fire is back on. We made it just in time. Uh, it's a bit unpredictable. If you don't know in advance you're supposed to jump and grab a swinging pole, it's just not gonna happen. This is such a stupid trial and error kind of trap, okay? Now, on we go. We're gonna tightrope walk on the same pole we were swinging on. Again, this is more of an exercise in patience, but the good thing is, as we established in the tutorial first level, uh, you don't need to hold the action key to have Lara move, you only need to hold forward once you press action, right? And of course you can also turn back via pressing back, but why on earth would you want that, right? Okay, onward Miss Croft. I know your body is beaten and broken, but... Well, you don't know it yet, but you're gonna go through worse. <laughs> Well, probably not in terms of difficulty, we'll see. Okay, and here is an item you will not get in the PS1 version of the game. And that's a bottle of chloroform, and that's because it's simply not here. I was so confused when I read that it's supposed to be here and I was playing the PS1 version first. Anyway, we'll be able to soak our cloth in it yet again. Let's lie down, no other traps here, although... Uh, we're gonna get shot at, badly. Yep. So on the left is a dead-end corridor, on the right is a guard. Let's give him some time and then somersault out of here. As you can see we are on floor 88 and there's the broken elevator door we've been at just a short while ago. Okay, with his gunfire he breaks the aquarium, I'm counting this as a breakable... Oh my god, look at our health! As a breakable object and I'm now in the process of picking up the second secret rose of the level. Oh, this damage! I hate you so much! Now run, run, run. It doesn't matter which path you choose, they are both devoid of objects or other hazards. We need to go up the ramp and now be careful. We are gonna be in a sniper's targeting reticule. Watch out for the lasers. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like some sport, uh, sports commentator. There's so much happening on the screen. Okay, up this ladder looking texture. We need to disable those lasers by pressing a button on the upper floor and also from a spot where the sniper should not get us. By the way, for full disclosure, this sniper is not a physically present enemy in this level. It is just a hovering targeting reticule firing at Lara, okay? So there is no sniper, in fact. He is nowhere to be found, not on the roof or anything like that. You just sort of have to use your imagination. But I'm not counting him as an unkillable enemy in the level because he's not. I love that there's a V-shaped uh, metal mesh hanging at the very top. So even though we fell to the bottom of the elevator shaft, we are supposed to now suspend our belief, disbelief and say we are on floor 88, actually maybe a couple of floors higher, and we are approaching the roof. That's the point of this. We need to, from here, uh, my god, uh, reach that button to disable the lasers over here and continue, and furthermore, uh, if you want the third secret, you need to lure the sniper to shoot the fire extinguisher, which will also happen to blow up the wall behind it and reveal the third secret. However, we cannot stand too close to the fire extinguisher because it will set us on fire. <laughs> so do the opposite of its function. It will not extinguish fire, but cause one instead. Uh, wonderful. Reminds me of IT Kraut, the fire extinguisher being made in Britain. <laughs> Okay, let's press the button. We deactivated the force field down there. Now, luring the sniper to shoot the fire extinguisher but not kill Lara can be tricky. I think what should work best would be to make a side flip there. And then... Oh, nice! Back! Oh, that is typical! Why has it done that? 
<laughs> that was perfect. Okay, so just do this. Oh, ow! That was Lara's buttocks. God damn it! And here we are. We finally have the third and final secret of the level. So the second and third one are really closely clustered together. Let's check our timex. We are at 33. You know, I remember times when we began this level when we had zero health packs used. Ah, <sighs> nostalgia hits hard. So remember, it doesn't matter if you use a small health pack or large health pack, it will just count the number of any health packs used. But in this case, we have used two large health packs and I'm hoping we're not gonna have to use another, but what's gonna happen is unfortunately a bit unpredictable. Okay, and from here the sniper should not get us or... Oh my god, roll! Okay, and you are safe here. However, in this corridor, a guard will appear. I think I hear another one approaching, I don't want that, but let me explain something. The floor over there, you touch it, Lara will be set on fire. How are you supposed to know that? I have absolutely bloody no idea. We need to break this aquarium by alerting a gunfire from a guard that appears there. Oh, there we go. And press this switch, then do something incredibly stupid. There is a power armor wielding guy over here and trying to get the large health back kill this. My friends, I have a feeling this will be the first of many in this level. Trying to get this large health pack is so ridiculously difficult. Okay, let's try this again. For full disclosure, I have saved again next to the fire extinguisher above the third secret, because I sure as hell didn't want to repeat the elevator trap with a power armored guy and two guards. This time, it's only gonna be one guard and one power armored guy to get our hand on the large health pack. So, let's avoid the floor, lure the bastard in to shoot the aquarium, and be ready to press that button immediately. Thank you. And now, let's make a backflip, and somehow get our hands on this thing and not die. I'm not sure how. Like this, maybe. Okay. Oh, no, no, not okay, not okay, not okay. Oh my god! Okay, we made it. There's a steel door on the other side, ignore that. Now, there's one power armored guy, one guard. They are gonna follow us here. But let's do a running jump as we enter this cutscene. You're doing good, girl. But just you hold there a minute. I'm checking for something. Zip, they're coming through the door with welding torches. Yeah, yeah, just... Gotcha. Top corners of the room. Motion tracker. Fast movement triggers them. So take it easy. Well... Well, what are you waiting for is what Zip was trying to say. So we need to walk immediately towards these two buttons. There are actually two automated turrets here with us. If we start running, they are gonna activate. Another time limit is yet another power armored guy appearing next to the door and welding his way through. It's not the same one we encountered when trying to pick up the large health pack. So the way is out, it is clear. Now I want to show you that there are indeed gonna be two automated turrets. Now how can I do this without dying? Ah, you know what? I'm out. You know by now what those <laughs> holes mean. So there are two automated turrets. This guy just made it through. Again, this is not the same power armed guy. It's another one, but he's not gonna follow us here into this teleporting room, okay? At least that's where I assume it is. Okay, so first things first. We are gonna use the very item we stole from Bonkro Industries to get out of here, out of this floor, and teleport our way, I guess, further up. The Iris Artifact, we need to enter it in here into this pedestal or whatever I can call it, but to do that we need to approach it from this side, but there seems to be some... I'm not sure whether to call it spider web, but it's blocking our way to enter the iris. For that we need to get our hands on a CD that happens to be inside this luggage room and inside this very luggage. Now, we can just pick it up immediately and ignore the other bombed ones, or you can do something neat, get into the x-ray room, via another broken ceiling. What's up with x-ray security checkpoints and broken ceilings? The same thing as in the beginning. If you make it here, you can trigger the x-ray mechanism and you'll be able to identify which ones are safe, which ones unsafe. Again, it's not needed. You can technically just go at it via trial and error, but I just think it's a lovely detail. See, there is actually a one-way through glass through here. You press it, 
and you'll scan the luggage. You know, I love the idea that so many people hate Boncro Industries that they receive so much bombed luggage in here daily. <laughs> Definitely not from their well-wishers. So again, we want that one. And mind you, all six bombs are breakable objects. Feel free to try open one of them. You will see how the radius of the explosive of one of the bombs also ends up triggering the other bomb, similar to the minefield in Tomb Raider 4. It's just a fun fact. So unfortunately, there are seven bombs in this level which we are not able to trigger and still walk away safe, right? So as such, these are objects we cannot break if we want to survive and continue the level. Okay. And there we go. Let's just get our hands on a CD in this one. So someone sent up a luggage with a CD for the teleporter. That's really interesting. Ooh. Okay, there we go. That's our key item. Let's somersault through the... Or do just this awkward movement, whatever. And we actually have to go here. Now, mind you, do not walk away on that corridor. There's a power armored guy waiting for us. Actually, two of them and one guard instead. Just enter the teleporter disc. I don't know why they are scared to enter here. Ooh, we could see the animation of the weird holograph spider web barrier thing just going into the floor. That's really neat. And now we are going to enter the iris and draw on its full potential. Wow. Now, where is Iris? Well, as it turns out, safely back in our inventory, so don't worry. <laughs> you don't have to re-pick it up. Lara did not lose it by activating the teleporter. I have no idea how this works, but there you go. It looks like such a cool hellish dimension. They could have done so much with this. All we did with Iris was just to reach a different floor of Bonkori Industries. Now, that is incredibly disappointing. Rather than sending us to some alternate dimension or something like that. Nope, just here you go. It's basically essentially a glorified elevator is what the iris is. Now, of course it has more powers, that's how they develop those power armors, the plasma rifles and all sorts of things, but it's never really discussed in detail. And it doesn't matter for the purposes of the plot, we still have it. Now, there is a red corridor over here, and by the way, this teleporter and this longer fall into the tunnel over there, from which we will not be able to jump back up, is the reason why once we get our hands on the HK gun, we cannot go back and have a revenge fantasy and kill all the guards and power armored soldiers that were threatening us up to this point. There's only one soldier will be able to headshot, and I'm only gonna do that if we're not gonna be able to take him down with the chloroform. You know what? Let me soak it up right now in preparation. Now, let's quietly observe the following cutscene. Now, you want to get yourself in a position where you can see the keypad. Because once every three or four cycles, Mr. Mobile Refrigerator there is going to type in the code. You don't say. You got it, baby. I is just full of vital information. You're full of something. Without me, lady, you'd be just some has-been hanging by your cuticles over a spike pit in some armpit backwater country. Sounds preferable. Yeah, Lara, don't let him diss you. Seriously. Now, there are a couple of things I want to accomplish here, and for that very reason, I am going to make a save, because this is very bucked. Okay, let me make that promised save. My god, the third save. This is too much. Um, we want to enter 1672 into the keypad just as he enters, but I want, I'm going to complicate things further because there is a bottle of chloroform on the floor there that I also want to pick up. We don't need it, absolutely not, but it is a pick item and I need to get all of them. In PS1 version, the bottle of chloroform you will see around the corner does not exist. Simple as that. Okay, he should not see us here. Whoa, that looked dangerous. And you know what? As he's entering the numpad, uh, you can just crawl out. He is not gonna see Lara. Let's walk towards the bottle of chloroform. Okay, he sure is taking his sweet time. You know, I think it's safe to run now. Let's pick it up and immediately run to the keypad. So it was 1672. Awesome. Now this is tricky. We need to get behind him fast enough, but still walk so as not to alert him to Lara's presence. This is very difficult to do. If we are gonna fail, I have a backup plan. Sometimes this works, and sometimes it doesn't. No. Damn it, Lara. No. Okay, let's just stand still. And he will not see us. 
<laughs> no, I'm not kidding. You're seeing what I'm seeing. Let's immediately push this button and oh my god, make it to the crawl space. Okay, let's get out of here. We have essentially disabled the X-ray security and guess what we're gonna get our hands uh, on? Our lovely gun. I never want to be without you ever again. Okay, and we can basically continue and finish the level, but I want revenge on that guy for not letting me chloromorph him. So, uh, let's go back. Lara? Oh my god, can you please... Are you kidding me, Lara? You cannot climb back up? What? Yes, you can. Lara? <sighs> Why were you able to climb back up before? Is it because we opened this trapdoor in advance? Or, okay, okay, maybe this will... You know what, guys? I am gonna see you back at this spot. I am getting fed up with these bugs. Good thing I saved, isn't it? Okay, climb up the ladder. Now I wanna know if we can even hang from that ledge that we were unable to grab before, or what's the deal? Let, let, let me see. Okay. Wait, what? Lara, can you... She cannot climb back. There's something wrong with it. I think it might be because we've opened it at the... Oh, wait, wait. Now you can? You can? And can you hold it? Interesting. So you can hold it. You can grab it. But you cannot shimmy. Once we let go, you cannot grab it ever again. Can we reopen this latch even though it's invisible? No. God damn it. So, I do not understand this because this was working fine for me during my trial runs. But that's the unpredictable nature of bugs. Um, okay, so we only have one. Can you maybe Miss Croft? God damn it. Okay, our only chance really is to chloroform this guy. Because I was able to crawl back in and take a headshot at him with our HK gun. I don't know, I'm desperate. Maybe equipping it and putting it on our shoulder will resolve the bug? No, nothing like that. This reminds me of the bugged uh, closed door in the LUTs gate. Even though it's open, the game will think it's closed. So yeah, full disclaimer, do not open this trap door at the very beginning of the level. Hey guys, Zelgad is from the future here. I want to resolve the mystery of not being able to climb back into that ledge once and for all. So, let's have the guard ignore us, like always, and disable the scanner. And we're gonna try this again. This time I have replayed the entire level without opening that ceiling ledge first, okay? And I wanna know if that will have any kind of effect on that bug. Oh, that was a nice sprint crawl, then subsequent crawl somersault there, Lara. Okay, so as you can see, the ceiling is closed. We should approach it and it's gonna drop down. Now, Miss Croft, I'm just gonna ask you to pick up your gun first. Okay. No, don't put it. I, I haven't even had a chance to get out of there and the cutscene where she puts it back triggers again. My god, these levels are barely holding together. Okay, this is what, the third time you have to see this cutscene? Um, okay, is maybe different angle preferable? Lara, can you pick up the gun and then keep the gun and then go back? Thank you so much. Okay, and now I want to know if we can climb back in and shoot the guy in the head. Yep, so that seems to be the case. Do not open this latch on the first try or you can still take him out using a chloroform, but you know, that's not exactly reliable. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna go full rapid fire mode on this bastard after all the trouble he caused to us. Unless the door will close first. <laughs> so, if the chloroform trick is not working and you have not opened that latch at the beginning of the level, you will be able to bypass him by standing behind him, he's gonna walk around you, then making into the x-ray room, uh, picking up your gun at the security checkpoint, coming back, climbing back up and shooting him. It's the only enemy like that you can shoot. 
Oh, and as a cool edit, although I guess kind of a pointless bonus, this door will remain open, so you'll have another chance to pick up the bottle of chloroform if you're in it for all the pickups. Yay, so hopefully this was helpful. And now to the present day Zalgaris. Now, I'm gonna keep trying this until we chloroform that guy successfully. I'm trying to think what did I do different this time and all I can come up with is I entered into the same tile so I was not standing here or even near him but I tried to walk into him and then press the action key and that worked. You know what guys, let me know if maybe this will consistently work for you when trying to chloroform this guy. You should be able to even in PS1 version because you are gonna find at least two bottles and the guy next to the elevator who drops the large health pack, you cannot chloroform in PS1. So maybe this guy you will be able to if you walk into his square and for some reason that will not make him notice. I truly do not understand. Oh boy. Okay, so anyway, we're deepening our knowledge about this level. So, again, we have disabled the security screen. Let's somersault our way to victory, pick up our HK gun. Oh, and for full disclosure, I am not counting picking up the HK gun as an extra pickup because I'm never counting the items we start with in our inventories as extra pickup. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna count it in the items total in the final statistics video, but not as a pickup in this level. And besides, you can just let it go and re-pick it up over and over infinitely. Can we climb back in? No, of course not. Okay, but you know what? We found a way. So chloroform him by walking into the same tile that he's in. Or, I assume this is related, I have not tested it yet. At the very beginning of the level, please do not open the trapdoor. I thought I'm being cool by climbing in and showing you the locked door, but no. And I think that's why the game is confused. But, if you do not open the trapdoor and chloroforming him will just not work, just pick up your gun and climb back in and you know what, let me know if you face this bug anyway, but you shouldn't because this actually worked for me during my very first trial run of this level on the PC version, right? And unfortunately, the game is making me look like a liar now. Oh, the unpredictable world of buggy releases. So, I feel more secure having the, well, sorry, not MP5, but HK gun on our shoulder. And now we at least get to finish the level with something extremely satisfying, again, Mind the lasers over there. Huh, so our gun is not showing them, but... Hold on a sec, what about our headset? There, so the headset is showing them, the gun isn't. Okay, interesting. Yeah, um, we finally get to shoot the fire extinguishers, hooray! Look at those explosions, and by shooting this one, we'll blow open that door and uh, clear our path to victory. There we go. Oh, uh, totally breakable objects, but in case you are wondering, you know, revisiting some earlier stages of the level with the HK gun, this door is closed, so you cannot. You cannot also reach the elevators because of the laser trap over there, and as you've seen, because of the bug, we cannot climb back into the security checkpoint, but even if you are able to, you're just gonna reach the bottom of the teleporter room and you cannot teleport yourself back. So, unfortunately, there is now no way back to loop in back on the level and have an ultimate revenge fantasy and kill all the guards that have been chasing us. So, this is the final tile of the level. Oh, and by the way, uh, there in that corner, that's where the power armored guy is supposed to be that we've seen from this camera angle, but he's not. <laughs> Just as a funny fact, he will be there immediately as we start the next level. So, guys, this was tough. This was exhausting. Thank you so much for being uh, my company on this level. Now let's look at the statistics screen. So this was the escape with the iris. Uh, we have used three large health packs. There was really no other way in case we wanted to, well, to be fair, pick up three large health packs. I'm still not happy we didn't manage to keep our health packs usage to minimum. You know, I have actually been checking some guides online on how to do this without using health packs. And all I found was a playthrough of the PlayStation 1 version of the game emulated on PC where the player emulated HK gun back into their hands past the initial security checkpoint and started killing everyone with headshots. That's the only guide I found of making it across this level and picking up those three large health packs without using health packs. So 
I don't know. I have to say, even though we maybe failed that challenge, I still feel pretty good about how we did. Now, we have found all 20 items. Again, mind you, if you're playing the PS1 version of the game, I'm going to do a deeper analysis in my final stats video, but you're going to find, I think, only 17. There are going to be missing two bottles of chloroform, and also uh, you are not going to be able to knock out one of the guards dropping a large health pack on PS1 version. We have killed or taken down with the chloroform three out of 15 enemies. Again, once we get our hands on the gun, that's it. There are no enemies to be faced. You can, of course, also, if you wouldn't experience the trapdoor bug like I did and not open it at the beginning of the level, you could climb back in with your gun and headshot that soldier in the security checkpoint. Then there are, of course, five uh, turrets that cannot be killed and we were not able to shoot or kill or take down four guards and three soldiers wearing power armor. I'm not counting the sniper who was shooting at us because he's not actually an enemy present in the level. Finally, we have broken six out of 13 objects. So 13 minus the seven bombs because we wanted to live and survive. And we have found all three secrets bringing us to 33. If you go to the main menu, you will not yet see the gallery among special features unlocked. For that, we need to find the following three secrets in the final red alert level. You can see the time taken, the distance travel, and ammo used, the real ammo used, on the right side. So with that in mind, guys, I will make a save here. I think this is what the fourth one? Oh my goodness. And yeah, the most save demanding level, but it's buggy. And I believe red alert, the final level of the game, is going to be no exception. And that's exactly where I will see you next time.